Welcome to another Fix It Yourself video. So in another video um, I had showed you how to install the Maximera drawers from Ikea. Um, now we're going to install on this 18 inch cabinet. We've already done the top drawer so that's uh, already in another video that shows you how to assemble that. We're going to assemble a bottom drawer much like this one here. So the door front will be just uh, pretty much like this one. Uh, but the only difference is this top drawer, instead of it being a drawer, this top door front or drawer front will be tied together to the lower one using this uh, Utrusta kit uh, comes with it. Um, so when I purchased the uh, IKEA cabinets, you can see here, this is the cabinet number six. And what it has is this uh, Utrusta here, connecting rail for the door fronts. And that's this uh, piece here. So well, I'll start to assemble all this now and you can see how we, that all goes together. So I've taken the instructions out of the Utrusta. This is the kit for attaching. I believe we're going to be using it to attach the two uh, door fronts. So this is the instructions here. Shows you all the parts that are in here. So we're going to take out these two top brackets and there's a whole bunch of other things here that we need to make use of. So going through this, we're going to go through this step by step then now and see if we can uh, manage to put. So first thing it's saying is to take these and assemble them on the back side of this. So we'll take a look at that now. So if we look closely at those instructions there, you can see what they're telling us is that we got to take these brackets and put one on this side, one on that side and put a screw in the bottom. So essentially they have to be oriented in that manner. You can see they show you the detail there. So it's got to be oriented in that way. So this, these two has to go like that. So let's give that a whirl now. So I'll need my, my nail, my hammer, excuse me for those pilot holes. But essentially we're going to pop this guy on here like this, in that way, and you see it's going to line up going to line up with that hole. This, is, this hole is going to line up with that right there. You see how that lines up? We do the same thing on this side, put that on, line that up with that hole, and then I'll just put a couple of, I'll tap in a couple of, just to get it started, one there. We don't want to be going crooked on that. Put this one in. Try to keep it straight. There we go. Alright, so let's see what's next. So if we look at the instructions here, what they're showing us next is there's these two rails, <coughs> which are the ones down here at the bottom those rails right there, those long rails, they're going to be used to secure the two fronts together. So looking at this now, I think we kind of jumped ahead of ourselves by assembling that entire cabinet because looking at here, it's showing us that clearly these two brackets should be mounted on top of that rail. So I think we'll have to take the drawer part and take those, those off and then same thing here, we'll have to put those on top of the rail and then carry on from there. So we should have really opened this box first, read these instructions clearly, and then we could have assembled the other uh, two together. So that's okay, not too much of a problem. We'll, st we'll uh, disassemble that uh, bottom drawer front. I'll show you how again how that works. Let's do that right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to remove this door drawer front. So remember, before we do, we can do that, we have to remove this. I've already taken the screw out, so that's loose now, so we can, this will come off. The next thing we're going to have to also uh, think about is pulling these guys back, so that that door front can come off. There you go, so now these are both loose. And just as I showed you before, we're going to put our screwdriver, I'm going to show you here, I'm getting close here. So essentially, you take the flathead screwdriver, and you can see there's that little thing that goes up there. You're gonna to wanna to turn that so that it's vertical. 
and then when you turn this you see how that easily popped out there we'll do the same thing now on the other side and then that whole drawer front should come right out so the same thing there I'm going to do that so you can see it take the screwdriver turn it vertically so it in, goes in there and then just give it a turn and there you go and that drawer front came right off so now We'll set that aside and we'll take all of this apart and we'll put the rails on it, okay? I'll take that apart and then we'll show you how to put the rails on Okay, we're going to take this apart now. So okay, that's done. Then we'll put these rails on and we'll see how they go. I'm going to have to check and see the instructions to see how it works clearly show that we want to install the brackets in this orientation you can see there's like a little bit of a, a notch on the bracket on both sides so they're going on the outside on the outside you see in all configurations so I've done the same thing here you can see they're on the so this notch is on that side and that side and you can see all the holes are lining up I have put the uh, medium drawer also and you can see that their holes are lining up now the question becomes what space in here to put for gap so looking carefully at the instructions here, it actually shows you that they provide you with these little thingies here. That's that one and that one. So when you look at it closely, they're using these as a spacers. And I've checked uh, with the drawer and the gap is exact. So being that this is metal, it won't compress. Probably best that we use this. So I've taken the cardboard out and we'll use these as, a, as a, our gap measurement. And I'd like to make sure this, this is lined up straight, so probably what I'll do is I'll put a, a straight edge on one side and make sure that uh, we have a good straight edge there, okay? And then I've lined everything up and it's just a matter now of uh, starting to in install all the screws that they show. So I've turned this around just to make it easier to see um, and what I had to do was I had to back off these screws a little bit because it wasn't lining up right so and so I think it's probably better this is the problem with their instructions they don't really tell you but you see how I can just move this like ever so slightly now before it wasn't lined up right and by backing off these screws a little bit I was able to uh, just back them off a tiny bit. This way it does have some movement here. I have to back off this one a bit more. Okay. There you can see here, we got a little bit more play and movement. So we can line up those holes better. Okay, so let's just pop these in now one at a time. I'll go real quick here. Well, it looks like they haven't given us enough screws, so I think I'm just going to take this one and this one and put it up here. Now we're going to take the impact driver and, and put those all in nice and good. But uh, I think it's important here I don't really tell you but I think it should be important to mm -hmm. try to line this up both sides and also make sure that we've got our space in here so I think that's good so what I'll do is I'll start to put some of these in I think that's good here. I'm good on that side. I'm good on that side, just a ever so slightly here. But I think that's okay. We should be able to take that out now. So let's pop these guys in. And I'll just go around and just kind of hand tighten these just to make sure they're good. 
and tight. So we should be good now. I think we can, according to this, we should be able to pop that all back in. And then you look here, showing that you put those uh, plastics on the top there. And then secure in all of these uh, 28 times of this screw right here. 28 times this screw. So we're going to secure all those screws in. And we'll put these all back on. And a nail. And I'm going to just line up the holes here. Just so we can get them all started. And we'll be able to pop these guys in here. So we've done that one side, now we'll go over here and we'll do this side. So same thing, we'll just get the hammer. Okay, so let's pop that in there now. We'll start with this side. So yeah, I think that's it and we'll just put the rest of those in and we'll be done. That's it, we're done. Okay, so now we're going to reassemble the drawer. Let's just put this on carefully. There, so that's now put on, so we can see how this guy looks, and we can try it. Go. So let's try to put that guy in. So now we're going to put back the screw on this guy. It's a little bit of a gap here, but it should be okay. And uh, according to the instructions, there's two clips and four screws. So here's the instructions here. Um, it shows these clips here that I have in my hand. So it's that style there. And it's showing here, you can see, very if you look really close, that the hole should be drilled onto the door front, not on the backing. And then one screw goes into the backing there. So there's four of these little screws and we're going to do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, put a couple of nail holes. Giving it a little whack with a nail and a hammer just gives it a nice ability to get started. Otherwise you're going to have difficulty. We'll do the same thing now that we've got those in. Get this guy lined up. Give it a little whack. And we'll see how much easier that goes in. Much, much easier. And this, I think, is just to stiffen it up so 
because it's not just you know only connecting here and this is a little makes it a little more rigid as you pull great there we go so now we're ready to put this guy back into its uh, home there so according to this you just put these guys on here like that one on this side I guess that's just to cover the sharp edges that's it there we go now we're ready to put this drawer in here slide it in there we go we have our trash pull up so I'm going to try to put in a nice recycle and kitchen waste and garbage all in the same drawer like we did upstairs. Thank you for watching.